So burgers aren't good for us, but what about the fries? In my annual 2002 update, I asked everyone to stop eating french fries and potato chips, tagging acrylamide, one of the most important nutrition stories of the year. Acrylamide is a neurotoxic industrial chemical used in the plastics industry, found in cigarette smoke, and in a bunch of foods. The chemical is created when we fry carbohydrates. By law, a glass of water has to have less than 0.12 millionths of a gram and fast food french fries may exceed that safety limit by 30,000%. Acrylamide has been considered a probable human carcinogen based on the fact that it causes cancer in lab rats, but so does saccharin. But the reason we don't see warning labels on sweet and low anymore is because it turns out that male rats have a biochemical pathway not shared by human beings that turns saccharin into a carcinogen, but we can't even extrapolate that to female rats. Uh, forget people, but you know, wanting to play it safe, I said, look, uh, you know, they're starting human studies now. We'll know in five or six years if this is really a problem or not. In the meanwhile, better to stay away from french fries and potato chips. Well, it's been five years for humans. Do you think it's harmful, harmless, or helpful? Acrylamide intake has now been linked to human kidney cancer, endometrial cancer, ovarian cancer, and human breast cancer. So I encourage people to keep staying away from french fries and potato chips. The industry is looking into ways to mitigate our risk by spending you know, tons of R&D money into researching ways to decrease acrylamide levels, almost as much money, perhaps, as they are spending trying to find better ways to get salt to stick to potato chips. It turns out cubic crystals evidently give the best adhesion. This, however, remains Okay.